YouTube, what's up? This your boy Trey and I'm back again with another video. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a clipper and trimmer review. Um, I was sold on Babyliss and um, the Austin Fast Feed. Those are my like go-to clippers and trimmers, but um, I just kind of guess, I guess I got a, a, little, a little bit bored and I wanted to just branch out and try something different. Um, I think those are always going to be my go-tos, but I just wanted to see what else was out there. So I decided to try um, a different brand. So um, I started, I tried the, the Stylecraft Road Clipper and also I branched out and tried the Stylecraft Sabre Trimmer. Um, so, so far, um, these trimmers are, these trimmers and clippers are what I thought they would be. Um, I, of course, I did my research on YouTube from their various different um, barbers that have um, tried them and have them. And um, they're kind of spot on, but, but their reviews the same. So, um, I tried them and I like them so far. I'm only using them on two cuts so far. Um, I use them on both of my kids. Um, I did a skin fade and a taper, um, and they both was very, very smooth and impressive. So um, on this Sabre trimmer, we're gonna start with the Sabre trimmer. Um, it has a long life digital brush motor, offers efficient power, a transfer of smooth operation and reduction of heat. So that means that this trimmer has a blade that it doesn't get hot quick, which you definitely, definitely want. Um, also, on the blade that comes on it is a wide fixed blade. Um, it's deep tooth. Um, it's a deep tooth blade. Um, this trimmer can be zero gap. Um, it's very, very easy to zero gap. I got, I'll show you guys um, the tool. Um, and I did zero gap mines. I moved it up. It comes very, very, very close, but I want to mine just a smidget close. And I, I was able to move it up just a little bit. Um, like I said, I feel like if you move them up like flush, it'll probably cut your client and I just wanna, don't wanna even uh, do that to my client. So I just, like I said, set it just a little bit. I wanna see like a slither of the, the steel blade on the back of that uh, blade as you zero gap. Um, it's a heavy duty, um, all metal clipper. Um, it's, it's universal, Got it comes with the USB, USB cord on um, for rechargeable. Um, and they said it has four hours of runtime. So, um, I really, really like it, man. Um, and I definitely look forward to keep continuing to use it to see how I really like it. But so far, so good. And I'll show you guys what it looked like um, in a minute. Um, also, I, like I said, I tried the, the Rogue Clipper. Um, and this one I'm really impressed the most, most because I really, really like um, the, click and, the click mechanism on clippers. And it kind of helps me speed up my time. Um, because I count the clicks, so I would know like I'm halfway open, open all the way, um, all the way closed with the counting the clicks. So when I'm cutting hair, I always do like, I'm all the way open, of course it's all the way open, but two clicks, I'm halfway, two more clicks, um, I'm all the way closed. Um, or if I need to go back down one notch, that's three fourths closed, you know what I'm saying? Um, all the way closed, you know so on and so forth. So that's how I like to use it and also, um, I just feel like I said, it just helps speed up the, the the time of cutting for me because I don't have to look at my clipper to see where I'm at in the fade or how how much I have the blade closed. I can just count the clicks versus like looking at the side of the lever or looking at anything on the lever. So that's what kind of helps me. Um, this has 120 hours of cordless runtime. Um, it, it's very, very quiet. And like I said, it has a clicking mechanism. Um, you can also change the body to different colors through Stylecraft, which I think is very creative and different. No other clipper can you change the body on that I know of um, and like put a different color up there. So this brown part right here, or gold part, um, you can change it to black or whatever colors they have um, just by changing the body, just buying and changing, changing the body on it. Um, it is, you can zero gap it. Um, and also it has a, a black diamond carbon, carbon DLC blade, um, which like I said, is very good with heat um, and don't, don't get hot at all. Um, and also, um, you have a 10,000 RPM high-speed magnetic motor. So, this clip is very, very powerful. As I was cutting through my kid's hair, um, it went right through, no snags, no, no nothing, didn't bog down anything. So, so far, um, I really, really um, like this clipper. Um, I always like to buy two of everything I get, um, just so like when one die, um, I just pick the other one and go right back to work. But, 
I'm trying not to do that with this one, but I really, really like it. Like I said, my, the fat seeds are my go-to, but for me, I like cutting straight hair um, with a clicking mechanism. Um, it's just me, like I said, because I feel like I can go through the cut like a lot more quicker, um, being able to count the clicks up and down, you know what I'm saying, so on and so forth. So um, I'm going to rock these out very, very hard once I get in the shop and um, see how things go. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. Um, but so far, so good. Um, like I said, it had 120 hours of runtime, and I think that's very, very good. And um, so far, I give them a thumbs up. So both of these new products that I'm try trying with Stylecraft are thumbs up. Um, like I said, I haven't had any issues out of them so far, and um, I really, really like them. Um, they both are very lightweight and uh, just a very solid product. But all the style pro Stylecraft products, when you buy something, they send you like pretty much a care package when it comes in the mail. So um, once you like add the product or item to your cart that you're buying when you're on the website, it always give you like two or three things for free, which is very, very awesome that like a lot of clip companies don't do. So I think Stylecraft are, is definitely setting themselves apart um, with um, just like adding more to um, like when you buy products. I think it's very, very- All right, so now I'm gonna show you both of these products. Um, so this, I'm gonna show you guys the trimmer first. Um, this is the, the Sabre uh, Stylecraft uh, trimmer. Um, I did put the Gamma um, grip band on it. Um, I just like to have a little extra grip when I'm, when I'm doing the shape flips and stuff. I think it makes it very comfortable for me. Um, like I said, I did zero gap it. Um, very nice uh, clipper, very sturdy, and I'll let you guys hear it. Like I said, it's very, very quiet. And it got, this is how you cut it on right here. So yeah, it's very, it's very, very nice. And this is the Stylecraft Rogue Clipper. Um, it's very, very lightweight. I almost feel like, it almost feel like to me, like a, like a remote control. Like it's super, like, it just like sinks in your hand, seems like. So it's very, very lightweight, and I just feel like I can just just fly through if getting some work done um, with these clippers. I really, really like them. I wish I kind of would have tapped in a little bit sooner than this um, with the ergos, which these are the same thing as the ergo, but just a different, uh, I guess, style or version. But like I said, it got the clicking mechanism. And I, um, when I first took them out of the box, the clicking mechanism, the lever was super, super tight. So I had to unloosen it, um, and this, when I loosened it, it became very, very comfortable to me. Before it seemed like I was straining to like open and close it, but when I loosened it, it's like it's, it's very, it's very nice. So um, I put my my boy uh, brand up here, Hungry Barber. Um, this is my mentor, um, so you know I always got to support my boy. But um, I put this up there, and I think this has a taper blade up there. Um, I really don't have a preference of blade right blades right now. But like I said, once I was doing my cutting, um, it was very nice. I didn't have any issues. So um, I was able to zero gap it pretty good. Like I said, um, I didn't zero gap it all the way. Like I said, I didn't want to cut anybody. All with this, I zero gap my stuff. Um, and they are very nice. So there you have it, guys. Um, and I'll let you guys hear how it sounds, just so you can hear. Um, like I said, I think they are very quiet as well. and you press it on by simply pressing this button right here. So yeah, I think these are very nice and I think these are go. I think it's a good clipper to have in your arsenal as well too. And I definitely think it's a good clipper to have on your, on your station. Like I said, even if you don't use it all the time, I think it'd be a good clipper that you can use for something. Um, so yeah. Also guys, I just want, kind of wanted to show you my, my travel bag, my house call bag. Um, for those of you who've been following me, um, looking at my previous videos, you kind of know, um, I've only been making house calls and this is my bag. I got the um, GMB Pro, um, it's meant for um, house calls or traveling with um, your stuff. So it's very, very nice. Um, and it helps definitely uh, cut down on time with setting up because your bag is pretty much your station. And I really, really like it. Um, I think it's a definitely a buy um, for any barber to have like a solid bag, bag like this. It has so many different um, compartments. Um, I'm able to carry 
pretty much my whole station if I would like to, but I don't because I don't, I know, I don't want my bag to be like very, very heavy. Um, so I, um, I, I traveled with this bag and I'm glad I, I able to make the investment and, and, and copy it because like it's very, very essential to what I do now. Like I said, I'm only making house calls. Um, just for right now, uh, I am getting back in the shop soon, but over the past, when, how long I had this bag? Maybe uh, about two months now, going on three. Um, it has been worth every penny. Um, like I said, I got my clippers on this side, got my little station for me to put like my combs, my brushes, my guards, um, shears, lighting, whatever. Like it's just super, super nice. So if you guys looking for a good sturdy bag, definitely go to gmbpro.com and get you a rig. Well, I guess they call it a station. Um, it's very, very nice. So I also kind of want to give you guys a little update about what's going on with me. Like I said, um, I am still going to be off house calls to my clients, but um, I will be getting back to the shop November 1st, um, tentatively. Um, so as things progress, I'll know as things get closer, if that's going to be the exact date, but right now that's the date we're going with. Um, depending, I guess, on how construction stuff falls. Um, but uh, I am getting back to the shop, and I will have my booking link coming up um, soon to send out to all my clients and all my followers that would like to come through and get a cut or just to come by and meet me. Um, so, yeah, I'm super excited. And also, you guys, um, I do go to the doctor on Wednesday. As you guys know, if you seen my um, last video, I talked about me having to get hip surgery, and I did. Um, recovery is going I'm um, going really well right now. Haven't had any issues. Um, I have minor pain. Um, of course, I have a little bit of pain because it is surgery. Um, so they wanted me to stay off of it. I've been on crutches for the last two weeks. They did want me to stay off of it uh, for two weeks without putting any weight on it. So that's what I've been doing, just kind of chilling, taking it easy. Um, and I go to the doctor on Wednesday and prayerfully I get off of crutches on Wednesday um, and I'll be able to re get released and uh, put uh, weight on my legs. So I, I kind of get, um, Get back to the style of uh, running and gunning style, uh, vlogging style. I know um, my last vlogs I've just been out and about, but this one I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update of some new gear that I purchased. Um, and like I said, both of those clipper and trimmers are a go, and I think um, they're very solid. Um, as I be able to do more ha um, haircuts, I'm definitely going to show you guys um, the, the, my, sh my shape ups and also my my blends and how they come out, my fades and stuff, how they come out with using the clipper. Um, so you guys, I'm going to try to vlog some of the um, the actual visit tomorrow, well, on Wednesday, um, but if not, then I just reconvey on a different day with a running, running, running gun type vlog where I'm just out and about vlogging. Um, I'm really trying to be consistent with this channel. I'm really trying to grow and trying to give you guys the perspective of a barber um behind the scenes not so much of cutting i am definitely going to give you guys some some haircut haircutting videos eventually but i just kind of wanted to give you guys an insight on a barber like behind the scenes of just cutting um so that's going to be what this this channel is going to be about um like i said vlog style running gun uh, just daily vlogs and stuff just showing what's going on inside of uh, a barber's life and um i'm definitely going to give you guys some footage good footage on that so yeah, that was my crush is falling, sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's what's going on for me. Um, once I get my date, I'll definitely let you guys know. I'm gonna try to be consistent and give you guys some content at least once a week. That's gonna be my goal from here on out um, to the rest of the year. I'm gonna try to give you guys some content once a week. So uh, I'm not gonna be slacking. Well, I didn't have no choice but to slack a little bit because I had to have surgery which definitely slowed me down and messed up some of my plans because I was like rocking and rolling with getting content done, um, edited and pushed out to you guys on YouTube, but um, it's all good. Everything happened for a reason. Um, and also being down, this um, out of permission to like vlog, it, it kind of gave me a perspective of what's next, what I want to do, some of the goals I want to achieve, some of the things I want to get done. And uh, I got stuff wrote down, so I got some, some, some definitely some bangers that's gonna be coming out with footage um, and vlog style, so you guys definitely stay tuned and keep up with me. And to all my new followers, I greatly appreciate you following. Like I said, it's been a journey. Uh, I've been trying to get to 100 subs like for a long time, and I'm like, I think like four away. So if you guys have watched to this point, please, please make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and ring that bell so 
and turn your not notifications on so that way when I drop new content, you won't miss out and you'll keep up with what I got going on. But I really, really great each and every, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you guys that's uh, subscribe and take the time to view my videos. Um, I greatly appreciate it, but you guys, um, this is it. Until next time, just want to kind of, just want to hop on and show you guys uh, my new clipper and trimmers that I've um, added to my arsenal. And I just wanted to um, give you guys some fresh content. So you guys stay tuned. Um, be on the lookout for more. I'm out.